Well, it was a few weeks ago. We told you about a plane that crashed into the ocean in Southern California. The pilot was rescued from the waves, and we've since learned the first lifeguard to reach the pilot was a 19-year-old from Capitola. KPX 5's Devin Feely has his story. I was in the zone. Dane Morin says he acted on instinct, honed by years of experience and training as a junior lifeguard. I was more of thinking of, okay, I'm going back to my training and what I need to do and how am I going to assess this person and what is going to be the um, next step in the rescue. Dane says his back was turned working a junior lifeguarding competition at Huntington Beach in Southern California when the plane nosedived into the ocean. Within seconds, he was sprinting to the site of the crash. I just ran to where other people were running, uh, and then I entered the water. I saw it, and I saw somebody kind of crawl out of the plane, and that's when I entered the water. On a beach full of lifeguards, Dane was the first to reach the plane. The pilot had managed to free himself from the cockpit, but still needed to swim ashore as the plane emptied jet fuel into the churning surf. It was, it was a tough swim out there. There was a lot of currents, a lot of waves. Um, and there was a lot of jet fuel in the water as well. So from the plane being destroyed, obviously the fuel tank leaked. Thankfully, the pilot was not seriously injured. Dane says that instinct and adrenaline and experience combined to assist in what's being described as an heroic rescue. It wasn't a crazy rescue. It was very successful. It was the best case scenario that could have happened. Um, he walked out of there. Um, and I'm, I'm super grateful. It could have been way worse. In Capitola, Devin Feely, KPIX 5.